Good day. Hope you're doing well. Let's talk about how to get your guitar to play silky smooth, nice tension, little tension, low action. How do we do that? First thing we do is we adjust the stop bar tailpiece. I mentioned that in another video or videos. I will put the description to that video or anything else that's pertaining to this video and in the description area. For example, when you raise this, you are reducing the tension on these strings. When you reduce the tension, the neck will have a tendency to back bow or go down. Uh, if that is the case, you will have to loosen your truss rod. So I've already taken the cover off. So you place this on here and you want to go that way, uh, counterclockwise. And uh, of course, you do the counter, you do the clockwise and counterclockwise by looking down uh, this way, clockwise, counterclockwise. I know that sounds pretty obvious, but <laughs> it may not be to some folks, and that's that's why I say these things. Uh, always go maybe one quarter at a time, one quarter turn, and slowly. Don't don't be aggressive with the tool. Uh, because there's a lot of tension uh, on the neck, on the rod, because of the uh, woods on the neck and the strings. How do you know how much relief or how much curve is in your neck without using a straight edge? Uh, I do this, uh, pinky right here, second to last fret. And on my other hand, I put my first finger on the first fret. I do use the E string. And uh, then I tap right in here, around the 10th, 10th fret, 10th, 11th, 12th, somewhere around here. If you hear that metallic sound, that means your neck has some relief in it. If you don't hear a sound, either your neck is straight or it's back bowed. Uh, back bowed, you'll need to uh, loosen the truss rod. And of course, if there's too much relief in here or curvature this way, this is going to be pretty high. Now, what's a good thing to do is uh, as you go through the adjustments here, is you want to pick up the guitar and play it and see how it feels. Uh, that way, you'll know you know how uh, you know how to what height you want this at uh, for the uh, tension in the strings, and of course you know, what uh, to do with the truss rod, say, for uh, addressing your relief. It's also a good idea when you're playing is to stretch the strings or bend the strings. I typically will go over right over here. This is the delicate spot here and bring this up about a, a step and a half. Uh, and you can do that throughout the, the guitar, but I typically do it from the 10th to about the 19th fret just to make sure that the strings are not fretting out uh, when I'm bending them. Spot to be mindful are these uh, strings right here, the uh, D and the B strings. This this C sharp on the B second fret uh, is typically something that will uh, start to you know you'll start to lose it, uh, meaning that it'll start to kind of fret out. Uh, if the uh, neck, one of the reasons that happens is the neck may be down a little little too far. You took out a little too much relief. Same thing here with this E. Around the second fret is usually a problem area. Um, also, your, your gauge strings are going to make a difference too. So if you put nines on a guitar like this, uh, your your neck is going to typically uh, be more back bowed uh, than it would be if you had tens on here. I find a happy medium is nine and a halves. Most people go for this first. That's probably not as as advisable as doing uh, you know the stop bar first trust rod second this last uh, these thumb wheels will raise and lower uh, the bridge height so screwing them clockwise or down would will lower it doing the opposite will raise it uh, what you'll find is when this gets uh, to uh, uh, you know places over here where the action is lower very 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 small movements here will make a big difference over here. So it's doing this type of operation, uh, you know, with adjusting height and the, uh, the feel of the strings just requires, you know, first of all, getting it in the ballpark. Uh, and then the next step is doing all the fine tuning. And that takes some time, not, not all day, uh, but it does take some time uh, to get it the way that you really want it to be. So hope this helps and have a good day.